Hey everybody, today we're going to make three versions of the fudgy brownie, a basic, better and best brownie recipe. By the end of this video, you will be very confident baking brownies the next time you need to. To start our basic brownies, we are going to roughly chop 225 grams of dark chocolate. Then pour your chopped chocolate in a bowl and put it on the side for later. Now on your stove top, grab a saucepan and add 170 grams of unsalted butter. When it comes to baking, I prefer to use grams to get a more accurate idea of how much stuff I am putting in. Give your butter a mix until it's fully melted and then add the chopped chocolate that we have put aside before. Make sure when you add the chocolate, you have turned off the heat. Mix it together until it's smooth and silky. Then add your chocolate to a large mixing bowl. If you would like to use less dishes, just melt your butter and chocolate in a pot and add all the following ingredients to that pot off the heat. Now into your large mixing bowl, add 175 grams of white granulated sugar and give that a good mix together. If you are enjoying this video so far, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video coming out. Then add three large eggs and mix together. Although at times it might seem insignificant, such a small amount of salt, don't underestimate its power. On that note, add one teaspoon of salt. Now to give our brownie some structure, we are going to add 200 grams of all-purpose flour and mix together. Because of the high amount of fat that we added to these brownies, you don't need to be worried about overmixing and creating any gluten structure. Now in an 8x8 inch pan, we are going to grease it by using some spray oil. Alternatively, you could always use some parchment paper for easy removal later on. Pour in all your brownie batter and make sure not to forget to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Using your spatula, smooth out the top of the batter. Then place it in an oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit to bake for 24 to 26 minutes. Halfway through, rotate them so they can cook evenly. Once done, remove them from the oven. Remember, these are fudgy brownies, so the inside will still be gooey. Now we are going to move on to our better version of these brownies. Even though there are just a couple more ingredients, you will most certainly notice a difference. We will start by preparing our chocolate like we did last time, roughly chopping 225 grams of dark chocolate and placing it in a bowl for later. In a saucepan over medium heat, add one stick of butter and melt it. We are going to use less butter in this recipe and add in more fat later. Once your butter is melted, add in your cut up chocolate from before and mix it with the melted butter. Make sure your heat is off when you add in the chocolate. Once it's completely melted together, put your pan on the side for later. For step two of our brownies, we are going to add three large eggs to a mixing bowl. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you are enjoying it so far. We are then going to add a fourth cup of buttermilk. Since we added less butter to our recipe, we are now going to add a fourth cup of olive oil. Now for a little flavor, we are going to add a half tablespoon of vanilla extract and whisk that all together until smooth. This time for our sugar, we're going to use brown and white sugar. So start by adding one cup of brown sugar and then add a third cup of regular white granulated sugar and whisk it all together. Bring back the melted chocolate mixture from before and add it into your mixing bowl and once again mix it together until smooth. In a separate bowl we are going to mix our dry ingredients. Start by adding 3 fourths of a cup of cocoa followed by 3 fourths cup of regular all purpose flour and 1 teaspoon of salt. Now give that a good mix together.
Then add your dry ingredients back into your mixing bowl with all the wet ingredients and once again mix it all together. Then in an 8x8 inch pan, grease it with some oil or use some parchment paper and add in all your batter. You can see this batter is much darker because of the addition of baking cocoa to the regular chocolate. Then, same as before, in a 350 degree oven, we are going to add our brownies and let them cook for 24 to 26 minutes, rotating halfway through. Now time for the best version of these brownies. These brownies are guaranteed to impress. They are fancy and delicious, but most importantly, easy to make. So the same as before, start by roughly chopping 225 grams of dark semi-sweet chocolate. Then back to the stovetop in a medium saucepan, add one stick or 115 grams of unsalted butter. This time we are going to brown our butter before adding our chocolate. So wait a few minutes until you get that beautiful, nutty brown color. Then add in the chocolate and mix it together until smooth. If you are still watching at this point, write in the comments below that cakey brownies are just thin chocolate cake so that I know you are still watching. The first big difference to make these brownies the best is by adding one tablespoon of instant coffee to our chocolate. Now back to our main mixing bowl, we are going to add three large cold eggs. For our sugar, just like last time, we are going to use white sugar and brown sugar. First, we are going to add a third cup of granulated sugar and then one cup of brown sugar. If you are still watching at this point and have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now! Whisk that all together for five minutes until more air has been incorporated and the color has slightly changed. Then we are going to add a fourth cup of buttermilk. Next into our bowl, for a bit of a fruity taste, we are going to add a fourth cup of olive oil and whisk together. Now add back the melted chocolate from before and whisk it all together. In a separate bowl, we are going to add all our dry ingredients, starting by adding 3 fourths cup of flour to a small mixing bowl, followed up by 3 fourths cup of cocoa, and then for our last ingredient, 1 teaspoon of salt. Mix all the dry ingredients together. Then add them to your wet ingredients and once again, mix that all together because we haven't done enough mixing yet. Remember, all ingredient amounts and instructions are in the description box below. Once again, in an 8x8 pan, spray it with a little bit of cooking oil or some parchment paper for easy cleanup and add all your brownie batter and smooth it out on top. If you have any flaky salt, Add a little now for some contrasting flavors, or just add some chocolate chunks, cause why not? And then place it in the fridge for at least 2 hours to hydrate. Then back into your 350 degree Fahrenheit oven, we are going to cook it for 25 minutes, rotating halfway through. These are the 3 versions of the fudgy brownie. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then make sure to watch this video about common mistakes people make when making brownies, including some in this video.